When you travel to the mountains, you seek extraordinary fishing. And carp is not the usual fish to target with the fly rod. But this story combines both fly fishing in a beautiful scenery with a fish that is hardly recognized as worth the catch. Perhaps it's a bad idea to go for a fly fishing trip on an island where there's hardly no fresh water. We arrived on Gran Canaria just hours after a big forest fire has stopped. The authorities actually took water from the lakes that we were planning to fish to fight the flames. In the dry landscape of Gran Canaria, this was anything but a good sign. empezaron a construir sobre 1900 para recoger el agua de la lluvia y a su vez introdujeron carpas y lapas para el equilibrio de insectos y algas. Los peces de aquí nacen y se reproducen de una forma natural. Se puede decir que ya son salvajes. A mosca llevo pescando 10 años y mi especie favorita es la carpa salvaje de aquí. Matt, Matt, don't strip, don't strip, stop, stop. Fish on! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Thank you.
When you think about Gran Canaria, you don't think about fly fishing. You don't think about fishing at all. You think about the beach, you think about party, about the sun, about the good weather. But actually you can find a pretty interesting fly fishing. On Gran Canaria, there are no natural freshwater streams, rivers or lakes. Up in the mountains, you can find man-made lakes that were used to stock water for agriculture. The population consists of carp, black bass and tilapia that were stocked in the lakes one after another. Because originally there is no fresh water or no freshwater lakes, rivers and streams on Gran Canaria, there are no freshwater fish, no original freshwater fish on Gran Canaria. Wild carps and mirror carps reproduce in this special kind or special type of waters and therefore you get those special looking carp that are kind of unique for Gran Canaria. To sum it up, one could say that you fish for stocked fish that became wild and that are, in a way, left alone up there in the mountains in those man-made lakes. We weren't sure about what to expect from Gran Canaria. The type of fishing is completely different to the type that we are used to at home. So we brought a lot of equipment to be prepared for anything. Over here the weather is hot all year round and so the water temperature is alike. So in first place we thought about tropic fly fishing equipment. We brought 7 and 8 weight fast action rods paired with lightweight fly reels with a smooth and strong braking system. Because of the high water temperature we loaded our reels with Cortland lines that differ in tapper as well as in coating. During the days we found out that the Cortland Omniverse tapper, which is an extra long belly fly line, works best for long and precise casts in these conditions. In the end it was obvious that trout equipment wouldn't have been a good idea.
It's always moving. Uh, you have an uh, example. You see uh, trouts in the uh, clean water, and the trout it's always on the same place, or the trout move to one place, one place, move to another place, then go back. And you can can calculate very easy, or not very easy, but you can calculate between how long you have to make the cast and where how you can get the cast to to, to cast to the fish. With the carp, it's a uh, complete different. Uh, you see carp on the surface, and you want to cast the fly to the carp and the carp is moving like this all the time in zigzags and you have to calculate and where the carp gonna move in the next second and you have to cast the fly between one or two meters in front of the fish and there is the moment when the carp uh, uh, get the fly and you can hook them. The lakes here uh, don't have platforms like the lakes in the Spain. Insects they are here in the lakes, they are not many and the fish is uh, used more to eat uh, plants or the food from the normal fish, car fishermen. So uh, and this this is the reason why we are fishing with the bread flies. I do the fly fishing here in about uh, 10 years and in the beginning it was very difficult because the fishing for carp here it's a not easy thing. So we need to learn a lot, we need to be better fly fishermen, better caster, we need to make better, better techniques, better strategy and everything and all the details of what we learned in the last years. We start to have very good fishing here. What most I love in the fishing for carp is uh, when you see a, a carp in the surface and uh, you have maybe one or two opportunity to cast the fly on from the fish and the fish can take the, the fly. It's like an adrenaline shot, you know, and you put the fly, you make a perfect cast and you put the fly in front of the fish and the fish take the fly, you hook the fish and in this moment just uh, the fish start to run and take your backing from your reel. I think uh, this kind of feelings it's uh, what the most of the fly fishermen are looking for and this is uh, something what we have here and we have it big time.